This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Oh, y'all, things got a little bit hairy. Second quarter, looked like y'all were in control. What what happened to allow y'all to re regain control of the game? Uh, I feel like South Carolina was a great team. They fought. They never gave up. Um, I feel like we just stayed focused. We knew that it was going to be a dog fight being the first SEC kickoff game. And I feel like we just uh, trusted in one another. We knew that everyone on that defense side had everyone's back. Yeah, and then Drew Bumper's sack. I think it was still a five-point game, and he sacked back to the five. How big was that? I mean, that, that was huge. Anytime we could come away with a sack, I mean, that's a, a kind of – if shifts the momentum, it's a, it's a big uh, game-changing play. Simeon, it's his first full game without Catalan. How do you feel like the defense did, and how do you think, you know, taking over the team captain role, you performed as well? Um, I feel like it was a great game by us, and we know we always would love to have Catalan because of how talented he is. But um, we have a lot of players like Brandon came in, stepped up, forced a fumble. He had a great game himself. Um, we had Malik step in, Kyrie stepped in, and both of them been playing corner for a long time. They came in and played safety for us today, and they also did a wonderful job. So I feel like it was a hard game, but it was also it was great to see all our training paying out after doing all the stuff in summer, um, in the summer and fall camp of switching positions, moving everybody around. I feel like it definitely helped us today. Uh, I'm curious. I mean, you all three could answer this. What did y'all think about Bumper returning that onside kick? Oh man. <laughs> I loved it because I had to block the biggest dude on the line. So when he got it, everybody else stopped. So that was great for me. When he grabbed it, I was just pointing like this. Go, yeah. go. If you had a little bit more speed, he would have scored. But we <laughs> would we'll keep that to ourselves, you know. <laughs> and then, I mean, Nudie got another pick today. What did you all think of that and just how, how he's doing over there at corner? I mean, Nudie doing great at corner. Oh, by the way, good evening, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nudie doing great at corner. Nudie is a dog, man. Everybody a dog out there on the field. Nudie been playing great and he been showing it. Yeah. Nudie's definitely a game changer. Mm -hmm. you know, he might any, anytime you get the ball in the red zone you could create a turnover. That's that's huge that's and that huge. just crushes the other team. Definitely. I think the game was pretty well in hand at this point. Um but Jordan Dominic again <laughs> forced that safety. I think it's the second week in a row he's got a sack in the fourth quarter. Just what's what's he brought to you guys defense I man he's a playmaker he's a go-getter I think I talked about this last week he's a guy he does it in practice all the time he'll run out the stack and go make a play on the perimeter he's just a guy that's a dog he's a go-getter he's gonna make sure that he does his job and if the ball gets out to the perimeter he's gonna run out there and do that job too I love I love John JD man JD is a good person on and off the field he a dog on the field like Sam said and then he just come every day to work every day Obviously, a, a little bit of a new era of college football with transfers. I want to ask you about Latavius Brini more and how quickly did he blend in? And you guys go against Matt Landers. How quickly did you learn uh, that Matt might be a weapon for you this year? Um, Brini is a real good player. He came in our system, and we do a lot of stuff. I feel like we require a lot of communication. And with that communication, that means you have to learn the playbook real fast. We have a lot of different stuff that we do, a lot of different personnel. And for him to come out there and play as well as he did, in just a short amount of time and just being here in the summer and uh well really the spring but it says a lot it says he really came here he really took this serious and he's a real playmaker he's gonna be very helpful for us this year he's gonna make a big difference um i appreciate um all the people that um the dbs coaches every everybody because when i first came in from georgia it was like a little rocky and they took me in with wide open arms and then they just showed me nothing but love oh there's nothing but love just making me making sure i was accountable for everything i did and just making sure i could push my my skills farther so it was great and also matt landers is very oh. dangerous i hate having to cover him in practice so <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely gonna be a weapon for us he's a big long guy that's very fast we be calling him a gazelle at practice because them legs never stop it don't even look like he running hard he's just moving his body but he's de he's definitely gonna be a weapon for us he's definitely been helping us offensively also yeah, Matt, like like Sim said, Matt nickname Slim. I call him Slim. <laughs> Matt just, man, he a dog, man. Matt go come in and work. Yeah. Like, you catch Matt at the practice catching like 100, 100 bottle jugs. Like, Matt just going to work. And yeah. I love that about Matt. Drew, you made a lot of plays today. I think you had two sacks, maybe another tackle behind the line. What do you think of your game? And Sam Pittman mentioned that 
you know, you'd look like a different player than you did in the spring, I mean, as well as you're playing. And then maybe you, you guys could each comment on what, what, you, what you thought about Drew's game today. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I felt felt pretty great today going into the game. And I know I felt uh, comfortable and confident with what our uh, defense had us doing. And it just put me in a great position to make plays. And I just uh, did, did my best to do my job. Yeah. Drew's a hard worker. We've been yeah. we've been harping on Drew ever since he got here. We love him. He's a hard worker. He's not going to say much, but he's going to always do what he's supposed <laughs> to do. We finally getting him to open up a little bit more. But, yeah, he's definitely a playmaker. He does his job. We know if we send him on the blitz, he's probably nine times out of ten going to get the sack. If not, he's going to pressure the quarterback. So I feel like Drew's just a great player, and we love to have him around. Man, Drew had a great game today. Definitely. I look up, I see Drew making a play every time. <laughs> I, I turn to somebody, I said, that's Drew? That's yeah. Drew making that play? They were like, yeah, that's Drew. Mm-hmm. But Drew did great, man. Drew is awesome. He a great person, man. I don't know if you get to watch the offense much when you, when you guys are off the field, but what do you think of, um, of Rocket's game and really what he's done these last two games being, you know, the primary back? Man, it's good for me not to have to tackle him this time. It's good for somebody else to have to tackle him. But he definitely had a good game. You can see a lot of improvement from last year to this year. I feel like he's more shiftier. He's very much in shape, and he's a load to tackle. So I feel like he had a very great game. It seemed like every time I looked up, he was taking the ball for about six, seven yards every time he got the ball. Latavius, two-part question. A, you know, your role now with Catalan being out, what do you think about, you know, that responsibility, I guess. And then the, the fumble force that you had, I think, can't remember when, second half, how big that play wound up being. Um, with Cat being out, the responsibility is just like, I mean, when I first got here, they always kept like, just made sure they held me accountable. Like Sim, people like Sim, Cat. So it was like, it was like really no pressure. It was just like, oh, this is like practice. Let's, let's just go. Just make sure I'm accountable for everything I do. And then on the, on the um, fumble, man, y'all ain't see me out there. I was jumping. I was jumping for joy. Cause, <laughs> but when I hit the ball, I said, the ball came out. I was running. Yeah. I ran like a chick with his head cut off. I was just running. <laughs> yeah, we saw some ice on your ankle. How you feeling? And, yeah. um, I feel great. I mean, I'm blessed. That's all I have. I feel great. That's all it is. Online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports, contests, and events with first-to-market odds and lines. Find reviews and news for every league, including Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, NHL, combat sports, esports, and even golf. Bet Online continues to be the top online resource for all your sports information, from live in-game betting, props, and futures. Head to Bet Online today, or use your mobile device to join today and make your first sports bet. Use our promo code BELIEVE50 to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. That's BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, 50. That's BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, 5-0. Bet online, where the game starts.